2020 has been a little bit challenging. We quickly had to adapt. We didn't know if we were going to survive at all because of the staffing, because of rescues, all that good stuff. But we've been very, very fortunate that we have a lot of good supporters. For now, we're keeping our doors closed to the public because we can't practice social distancing here. So while we miss seeing everyone, miss their faces, miss their bunnies, we just have to really ensure that we keep every person and rabbit safe here in the shelter. The biggest changes that we had to make were to put our store online. So now everything that you see in our store is on our online store and curbside pickup. It was a lot of brainstorming with the staff. Uh, we first thought we were gonna go through the window instead, but what was really brilliant was one of the staff members thought, let's do a drive-through. Through our Sweet Bee area, we prepped the order. The customer will drive to the side of our building where our double gates are. Then they come out of their car and they pick it up and they drive off with their goods. So it was a brilliant idea. We have another window where people come in to drop their rabbits off for grooming. So people can't bring their bunnies inside to groom, but they can bring their bunnies for grooming. And we have an area in our shelter now that we can fully disinfect in between rabbits too. So our staff change into PPEs um, every single time they get a new rabbit. Besides COVID, we got hit with RHGV2, which is called rabbit hemorrhagic viral disease. This virus has a 100% death rate to the rabbit. So the lucky part about it is that a vaccine does exist. And as we open up some of our services again, like bunny boarding or um, bunny bondings, the rabbit must be vaccinated for at least two weeks before they can come and have a play date or visit with us. When you take the tour of our shelter, it's not a very glamorous process. We're literally thinking on our feet and making changes as fast as we can to cope with all the changes. We really had to get creative in terms of how we were going to still allow volunteers in and still allow business to happen as usual too. We have to get our va rabbits vaccinated now. All of that costs money for us. And so we rely heavily on our donations to make sure that our rabbits are safe and healthy. The other changes that we had to make was putting our classes online. So our Bunny 101 is online and our adoption process is online as well by appointment only. Yeah, I do think there's positives to this. I think the community has definitely gotten stronger. They're quite understanding and helping us. You know, the staff has definitely gotten stronger through this process in terms of really working together and supporting each other. So I'm pretty proud of everyone and really grateful for the support that we have. Oh yes, yeah. you're sweaty, you're disgusting, <laughs> we smell, but it's all worth it for the rabbits. We... I totally forgot what I was going to say. It's fine. <laughs> Let's just make it up and just... It is!